My coverage of CES 2020 is brought to you by MSI, Thermaltake, Lian Lee, and Cooler Master. Okay guys, I'm at Alpha Cool now, and uh, behind me they have this X-Wing build. Uh, this is a mini ITX system, despite the size of it, and there's a BB-8 on top. I thought that was really cool. It's just a showpiece here, but it's made by Random Design, so, well, good work on that. Let's check out the products that Alpha Cool has on display. So here is a 2U server rack, at least as far as I can tell. I don't know anything about server racks. Uh, you guys are probably less interested in this type of thing too, but there's a reason I'm showing it to you. First of all, if you've ever been in a server room, they're insanely loud, and I don't know if you guys can hear right now, but this is not very loud at all. What we got in here is a 2990WX and four 2080Ti's. These are all water-cooled with these big old fat radiators here, industrial fans. So these, when they spin up to full RPMs, are really, really loud. But right now, they're in silent mode. So this is just looping Cinebench and Octobench in the background. Uh, and it's been going for a really long time. And basically, uh, they're hitting like 60 degrees max. Uh, right now, they reset it, so it's a 54 degrees max. That's insane to have that much going on with a server like this to have it that quiet, um, so I don't know if any of you guys were in IT, maybe you're interested in a solution like this. But the reason we point this out is because the tubing in here, the fittings, the connection, uh, basically all the water cooling components need to be server grade. That means they need to not be prone to failure. And they're taking this same uh, build technology and quality and they're integrating it into products that you guys might actually be interested in, like the Ice Bear Aurora over here. So this has been refreshed. It's gonna be available in 240, 280, 360, and 420 millimeter rad sizes. It's got the cool pump going on down here that uh, has a nice see-through look that lets you look at the inside, as well as a bit of uh, lighting on the side as well. It includes dressable RGB fans, and this is a copper radiator, not one of the aluminum rads that you typically get with an all-in-one. 2800 RPM pump, and then yes, uh, that same tubing, fitment, and connection that you have uh, with their enterprise level stuff. It even includes a quick disconnect. Why is that useful? Let me show you. All right, so check this out. This is a GPU block. Uh, this one is for NVIDIA, it can fit RTX cards. And then over here you have one for AMD, fits Radeon cards. You got an acetal or an acrylic option. But basically, AlphaCool's newly redesigned GPU blocks, which look kind of like this, very, very see-through, very bright, very RGB lit up. I think it's a pretty clean design. But this one is made for, you know, your custom loop. You've got some Gina quarter fittings there on the top. But these three screws can allow you to repurpose this connection point and just attach this. And this goes and connects to an all-in-one loop. And that all-in-one loop has quick disconnects. So you could add this to your graphics card. You could get the other CPU block that I just showed you, quick disconnect, connect them up to each other, and basically set yourself up with a custom loop using essentially all-in-one coolers. Oh, did I mention this unit here? Uh, it lights up uh, just green for NVIDIA for now and red for AMD, but the pump is also included in this. And then yes, to answer your question, you could remove this entire piece and then you could add a little end connector there with GNA quarter fittings. And then if you wanted to in the future, you could go from a couple all-in-one coolers that you have connected up to a full custom loop. So for anyone who has considered water cooling, but you know, it's, it's a bit daunting, it can be expensive. There is not really an upgrade path because you typically need to set up an entire loop at once. But with these new Ice Wolf Aurora GPU blocks, uh, you can get yourself up and running and then you could upgrade the loop in the future with a lot of flexibility. And I think that's pretty smart. Good design. Well done, Alpha Cool. Moving on on this table of glorious liquid cooling parts and RGB and stuff like that, we have some updated reservoirs. These are actual glass reservoirs. Uh, they've got a nice frame going around the outside, so you've got some pillars to hold up the top of your reservoir block, so that's pretty nice. Of course, you've got the RGB LEDs integrated along the bottom. This will be available in 150 and 250 versions various mounting positions are available. And the nice thing that AlphaCool told me is that uh, these reservoirs are gonna be replacing their existing reservoirs, but the existing reservoirs are gonna get a discount. These are gonna be slotted in at the same price as their existing reservoirs. So that's nice. And again, you get the upgrade to glass. Here is a flow indicator. Eisflugel, it is being called. German, I, I like attempting to pronounce German things. And whereas a flow indicator may or may not be useful to you, uh, this one actually has a practical purpose. So on the back you have connection points and uh, you can monitor your flow rate, you can also monitor your liquid temperature, and that's a useful thing to go along with uh, what is often considered an aesthetic add-on to a water cooling loop uh, with a flow indicator, so that's nice too. 
Check out these new Alpha Cool fittings. These are going to be their premium ones, uh, especially for use with PETG, which uh, can, according to what I've been told, uh, it can flex a little bit and it can also be affected by the pressure of the uh, O-rings that go inside. So they've redesigned this. Actually, Dave worked on this himself. So you got an inner O-ring down there at the bottom. Then you have this little plastic insert that you pop inside. That helps the end of the PETG tubing from getting crushed. Then you've got this very thick O-ring that drops in there outside of that, providing a much better seal, uh, both on the fitting side as well as on the cap side. Uh, and then you just screw the cap on and you have lots of threading. Uh, it's very thick threading as well, which means it's just really smooth to uh, attach there, screw on. And these are going to be Alpha Cool's new premium fittings. And now here's another cool item. Uh, they're rigid RGB LED strips, addressable RGB LED strips. And I don't know if you guys can tell, because these, are, well, first off, they're really bright. They're also really, really, really thin. Look at that. It's an actual PCB that's on the back there, so you can imagine how easy it would be just to slip these in discreetly in any part of your case. And it's kind of interesting, if you turn it this way, you can not see the LEDs at all, and then suddenly it's like, oh, that's so bright. Some nice features with these are they include uh, pass-throughs at each end, so you can daisy chain if you want to, and they're gonna come with rubber mounting points for either end to help you mount them in your case. Also, every six LEDs, there's a break, so you can snip them shorter if you need to. Lastly, we've got a setup here from Mod My Mods, some nicely modded systems by Mod My Mods. And uh, if you are familiar with Alpha Cool's coolant that you can put in water-cooled systems, uh, it's kind of hard to get your hands on in the US, especially if you gotta ship it, because that's really expensive. Uh, Mod My Mods has uh, made their own sort of variation working with Alpha Cool. It's pretty much exactly the same, but this will be available in the US at uh, a much cheaper price than shipping it from Europe. But guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my coverage here at Alpha Cool. Thank you so much for watching, and a big thank you to my sponsors for CES 2020, MSI, Cooler Master, Thermaltik, and Liam Lee. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. I have more CES 2020 coverage coming at you. So hit the subscribe button too if you, if you wanna do that. And leave me a comment in the comments section. Let me know how you're doing. Are you, are you having a good year so far? I hope so. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.